Hello everyone, we will continue the topic internal table operations. And yes, we already covered append and loop. Now we will go for delete internal table operation. Word itself is saying with the help of delete, you can delete the records from the internal table. Now, you can delete the records based upon where condition also. You can delete the record based upon index also. Index. Index means you can delete a specific row. You need to pass the index of that particular record. We will do the practical and it will make more and more sense to you how you can delete based upon where condition and how we can delete based upon index, index of the row. Suppose firstly, we will go for suppose where condition. Now you can see as of now, internal table has five records and we are displaying those five records. Suppose I want to delete those records where payment mode is equal to D. It means what it will do? It will delete this record. Yes, we have the payment mode D. It will delete this record because we have the payment mode D. So total we have five records. If two records will delete, then we left with how many records? We left with only three records. So how we can delete based upon where condition? The keyword is delete. Now, what the name of internal table? LT underscore data. So after inserting five records to the internal table, I'm applying delete internal table operation. Delete name of the internal table. Now we have the keyword where. where. But the name of column PM is equal to. Now I am passing capital T capital T. Because see strings values are case sensitive. If you put small d nothing it will not delete anything because your data is inserted with what it is capital D. It means you need you should delete based upon same to same condition. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. I will show you in debugging mode how this delete condition is working. I'll put a breakpoint and I will run. I'll go to execute. I'll go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. And if I will show you the internal table by double clicking, currently internal table has five records. Why five? Because this statement has not executed yet. If I will show you the internal table, we have five records in the internal table. Now, if I want to execute this line, if I want to execute this delete statement, I will go for which key? F6 key. F6 is line by line execution. I am doing F6. And you can see two records deleted. And we have how many records in the internal table now? Three records. Now you can see. There is no record in the internal table with payment mode is equal to D. Now, this loop, this loop will only continue now three times. And if you see the output, if I will come out using F8 key, you can see we have only now three records. Yes. So you can delete the records from the internal table based upon a where condition. Now, suppose if I will show you, suppose I'm putting small d, I'm not putting capital D and you can clearly see it will not delete any record. If I'm running, I'll go to desktop three. Internal table has five records. Now, if I will execute, 
you can see we have same to same five records no record deleted at all because values are always case sensitive so whenever you are going for some delete just check you are passing the right thing or not now this delete is based upon where condition now we can delete on specific index also specific index now what is index index means the record is present on which particular row number on which particular index the row is the, on which particular index the record is present or the row is present suppose if i will show you you will understand fully because we already covered this part in the previous video if i am running the program you can see our internal table has five records as of now. And what is the index of the record? This is first row index. Second, third, fourth, fifth. So if someone asks you on fourth index, which record is present? Order number two and payment mode D. If someone asks you on index two, which record is present? This is one and D. So what is index? Index means current, current position of the row. The record is present on which particular index. And you can see SAP is automatically giving the index. So I can delete on specific index also. Suppose if I will write delete internal table index four. So it means it will automatically delete this fourth number record. I'll show you now. Suppose I'm commenting this delete on where condition. And now I will show you how to delete based upon specific index. Delete internal table index. Suppose I'm writing three. And if you see which record is on index number three, this record is on index number three. So it means two and D will not display in the output. It will delete. I'm going to exit. I will activate and I will show you. I'm running the program. I'll go to desktop. Currently, internal table has five records and which record is present on index number three, order number two and payment mode C. Once I will execute this statement, done. You can see four records in the internal table and you can see two and C is not there. now. So you can delete based upon where condition also. You can delete based upon index also. It's total, total your wish. Okay. So now what we studied in this particular video, we studied one more internal table operation delete. You can delete the records from the internal table using delete internal table operation. You can delete based upon their condition also. You can delete based upon index also. Index means the record is present on which particular index, which particular row, which particular position the record is present. That is called as index. Now in the next video, we will learn few more internal table operations. So that's it in this video. Thank you.